they still remember the little boy. He was a wonderful little boy, a lot of great memories, always a lot of fun, very gentle, caring child, um, very uh, intelligent. Today, 25-year-old Thomas Hamp is in jail, accused of killing his girlfriend. Sandy Hamp says it all could have been prevented if someone had really listened when they asked for help. Thomas Hamp went to emergency in December and January. He saw doctors, but it never went past that. We were hoping he'd be admitted to Dubai Centre where he could be in a secure place and get some uh, professional help. Uh, hopefully um, see a psychiatrist uh, and help to determine what's going on so that he could, these things could be addressed uh, medically first and then uh, through counseling or whatever the avenues are to get him the help he needed to help him clarify what's real and what's not real. In February, Thomas agreed to go back to the ER a third time, this time with his dad. What happened next still haunts the Hamps. Thomas's girlfriend had prepared a detailed timeline of his delusions so that his dad could take it to the doctors as evidence. She sent him this timeline on a Saturday afternoon. But less than 12 hours later, early Sunday morning, Brian Hamp says he took a phone call from Thomas's girlfriend. He says that he'll never forget why she had called. Help. Uh, and uh, again, whatever was happening, it happened. And somehow she dialed my number. Um, and, and I didn't hear, hear her, but I could hear Thomas screaming in the background uh, that they're out to get him. They're over there. Help me get them. Um, and that'll stay in my memory forever. Thomas had stabbed his girlfriend and himself. She spent three weeks in a hospital, then died from her injuries. Her family declined to comment at this time. The Hamps say the system is continuing to fail their son. Thomas's court-ordered psychiatric assessment was delayed for more than a month because of staffing shortages at the province's main psychiatric hospital. The results of the assessment are expected in May. Dan Zakreski, CBC News, Saskatoon.